Welcome to yoga. Let's begin in a standing position at the top of your space. With your feet either together or even hip distance apart is fine. Find samastitihi standing tall through the crown of your head. Gently close your eyes. Ground down through the soles of your feet. Grow your roots deep. You're exactly where you need to be. This next sequence, we will gently and easily move through our upper body. First holding the poses for a couple of breaths and then flowing through the poses, one breath, one movement. When you're ready, blink your eyes open and reach your arms up for mountain pose. Press down through your feet, reach tall through your hands, but let your shoulders remain soft so they're not shrugging up towards your ears. Grab your left wrist and lean over to the right as you stretch out your whole left side body. It helps if you can press your weight down even more in your left foot and keep your chest open so you're not caving forward. Create space on your left side. Then come back to center, switch your grip, grabbing your right wrist and dive to the left. Press down through your right foot as you reach up through your right hand. Breathe into the space you're creating on your right side. Then come back to center, release your grip and bring your hands together at heart center. Take a big inhale. Exhale, twist to the right with your upper body but try to keep your hips pointing forward so your shoulders are pointing towards the right. You can stay here, breathing into this twist, or you can open your arms up, reaching your right arm back and your left arm forward. Even in this twist, do your best to keep your right hip pressing forward. Three, two, one. Come back to center, hands at heart center, take a big inhale. Exhale, twist to your left, twisting through your shoulders, through your chin, even through your gaze, but keep your hips, especially your left hip, pressing forward. Now, if you did on the other side, open your arms up, left arm reaching back, right arm reaching forward. Three, two, one. Come back to center, hands at heart center, then reach your arms up for a mountain pose, big inhale. Exhale to mini back bend. Bend your elbows open like goalpost arms and lift up through your heart, lift up through your chin. Breathe into this back bend. Now this is really similar to a lat pull down. So try to pull your shoulder blades together behind you as you lift up through your sternum. The next inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Then exhale, hands at heart center, tuck your chin, close your eyes and take a big breath in, big breath out. Now open your eyes, focus your eyes on one non-moving spot out in front of you to set up for a tree pose. Bend your right knee open to place the sole of your right foot on your left ankle or for more challenge, bring it up to your calf or for even more challenge, bring it up to your inner thigh. Find the tree that will keep you grounded and calm Then bring your hands together at heart center. Focus on that spot and breathe. Find your roots and be like a tree. Bend before you break so that you are resilient in the weather. Three, two, one. Lower your right foot down and switch sides. Place the sole of your left foot on your ankle, calf or inner thigh, wherever you place it on the other side. Then hands at heart center Ground down through the sole of your right foot. Stand tall through the crown of your head. Breathe. Find your roots. Feel the sway in the wind. Stand tall. 
and proud. Three, two, one, release. Come back to Samastitihi, hands at heart center, ground down, stand tall, close your eyes and take a moment to connect with your roots. Not only the roots of your practice, the roots of this present moment, but the roots of your life, what brought you here, and find gratitude for everything that made you who you are today. And in this gratitude, open your eyes. Reach your arms up for mountain pose. Take a big inhale. Then exhale to sweep your arms down and back like airplane arms at the same time step your left foot back into a nice deep lunge. Take a moment to settle into your lunge, sink your weight into your right foot, and then reach your arms overhead for a crescent lunge and just stretch into this, adding any movement that feels good for you. And from here, we'll add a twist. Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a big inhale to lengthen your spine, then exhale, twist to the right. Now you can stay here with your hands at heart center, or you can open your arms in your twist. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward, or take it one step further. Bring your hands together at heart center and lower down to hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Find the twist that serves you now, then breathe into it for three, two, one. Rise up, back to crescent lunge, arms reach up, sinking deep into your hips, big inhale. Then open up into warrior two. With your right knee tracking open, right arm reaching forward, left arm reaching back. For a reverse triangle, straighten out both legs and reach your right arm high. And you can just stretch right here or add a sky archer variation by grabbing your right wrist overhead, stretching into it and flexing your right toes back. Next is triangle pose. Hinge at your hips to reach your right hand forward and then lower your right hand down to your right shin, left arm reaches high. Now in a pose like this, it's not about reaching the ground. Think like a tree and reach up towards the sky. Give yourself lift. When this pose is active with that lift, you're not only stretching, but also strengthening, which is essential for a mobile body. Use your core to rise. For horse pose, pivot your left toes to point out, bend both knees open and sit down deep. For our first horse, this is gonna be pretty intense. So go ahead and place your hands to your thighs and lower your right shoulder down as you press your right knee away. And feel free to add a little bit of movement like wiggling side to side. Then come back to center and switch sides. Lower your left shoulder down as you press your left knee away. Then bring your hands to heart center and find warrior two. Pivot your left toes in as you straighten out your left leg, reaching your arms front and back, just like you did before. Now keep your legs as they are and take reverse warrior. Reach your right arm high as your left hand grazes your back thigh. For extended side angle, legs will continue to stay the same. Just hinge forward as you lower your right arm down and your left arm high. You can always modify this with your elbow to your thigh because just like in triangle pose, this is less about reaching the ground and it's more about lifting up towards the sky. So find that lift as you rotate your chest open, leaning back into your left shoulder for three, two, one. Inhale to rise, place your hands on your hips, shift your hips forward and step your back foot forward, coming to the top of your mat. Let's do the left side. Inhale to mountain pose, reach your arms up. As you exhale, sweep your arms down and back and step your right foot back into your deep lunge. Take a moment to settle in with your hips squared off to the top of your mat, weight anchoring down into your left foot so you're in a deep lunge. Reach your arms overhead for the full crescent lunge and take a moment here just to stretch it out, whatever feels good for you. For the twist, 
Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a big inhale, first lengthen your spine, then exhale, twist to your left, twisting through your shoulders, your chin, even through your gaze. To help with balance, set your gaze on one spot anywhere on that left side. Take the same option of the twist that you took on the other side whether it's opening your arms or going into your full revolved crescent lunge and breathe. A deep, slow breath creates space in this twist, releases tension in this twist and keeps you calm. Three, two, one. Come back to center, reach your arms up and take a big stretch in your crescent lunge, even leaning back if that feels good for you. And then open up into warrior two. Left knee tracking open, arms reaching front and back, find your strong warrior two, and then for reverse triangle, straighten out your left leg. Reach your left arm high and add the sky archer variation if you do on the other side. Or try it if it's something that's new for you. Big inhale, exhale to triangle pose. Hinge at your hips. If you're a sky archer, you'll lower your left foot back down. Left arm goes down, right arm goes high. And again, do your best to stay lifted in this pose. You're not caving down towards the ground. Instead, it's as if you were leaning against a wall behind you, the entire back of your left thigh your arms, your hips, your shoulders, and the back of your head would be touching that wall. Three, two, one. Rise up, then find horse pose. Heels in, toes out, knees bend open, and do your best to get your weight anchoring down into the pinky side edges of both feet. So you're lifting your arches. Sink low in your hips, bring your hands together at heart center, and feel free to add a little wiggle side to side as you settle in. For three, two, one. Inhale to rise, then exhale, set up warrior two. Left knee bends open, arms reaching front and back. Keep your legs as they are for reverse warrior. Reach your left arm high, right arm grazing your back thigh. Really stretching through your left hand. And then for extended side angle, legs stay the same. Just hinge forward, left arm down, right arm high. And take the modification elbow to thigh if you did on the other side. It really does help with giving you the lift in the pose so that you're not dumping down towards the ground. If you do have your arm inside of your knee, then use that leverage forearm inside of your knee to press your knee open and also to rotate your right shoulder back. Three, two, one. Inhale to rise, hands to your hips. Exhale to pivot your hips forward and step your back foot forward. Coming into a standing position, top of your mat, hands together at heart center. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Breathe in and out through your nose. And ground down through the soles of your feet. As if you were growing roots down into the ground. Anchoring you into this present moment. And when your mind wanders to the past or the future, remind yourself that you are here now and you are exactly where you need to be. Namaste.